this man found a treasure he didn't steal the treasure like many would do he did not steal the treasure it hid he hid it back he went back and looked for money he sold things I believe when he was looking for money he might have asked people to borrow him or lend him some cash and the persons may not have listened to him maybe they had they refused to lend him but he knew what he wanted so he sold everything he sold things and every other person may be looking at him like a madman like he was insane but he knew what he was doing so he switched and then he, he, he switched what he saw the treasure he saw for what he already had brethren if you know the relevancy and the importance of making heaven brethren you will switch the reality of heaven for everything you have now you'll be ready to let go everything you have now just for you to make heaven the switch is worth it if it was not worth it if it does not worth it this man would have not sold all his belongings just to acquire this treasure this treasure is life is life not just the life you you, you live here is the life after he saw this treasure this treasure is you and I making heaven we should not allow any other thing to drag our attention is prioritizing our, our time our focus on God not on material things these things are needed but your attention and focus should be first on God and his kingdom before every other things and as you concentrate and focus on God and his kingdom these other things would come naturally they would come when needed so please um, let's do well to exchange every every um, things that are valuable to us that are taking our time some persons don't really have time to pray some persons don't have time to study the word to build their spirit man just because of work just because of one thing or the other should I tell you what the scripture says? It says, Oh man, you are inexcusable. Oh man, you are inexcusable. Listen and listen again. Oh man, oh you man, woman, boy, girl, listener, you are inexcusable. Meaning you don't have any excuse. You don't have any excuse. See, you're going to work work is so stressful you come back from work you don't have time to study all of these are things that are valuable to you but when you know the real value of heaven you making heaven you know how important it is you will sell every of this time that you have given to these things you would exchange them, you sell them, you set the priority of them for the kingdom of heaven. I mean, the Lord help us in Jesus' name. And um, the down part of it, verse 44, is talking about and uh, the fishermen who went um, um, fishing, they caught all kinds of fish, and they, 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 they fished the, the fishes out. They, it was fished out it was um, separated it was being separated 
and uh, they, 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 they sorted it, they, 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 they kept the good ones in the crates. They were useful in the crates, but threw the bad ones away. Men and brethren, if the scripture should, if the Lord should do a sorting out now, where would we be? Would we be in among the good ones or among the bad ones? Would we be placed in the crates or be thrown away? What is our value size for the kingdom of heaven? What is the value we have? What is that value that the kingdom of God, that you think the kingdom of God has for you? What is it? What is it you are doing? Are you so important that you will be placed on the crates and not be thrown away? That should be looked into too. See, brethren, on no course should we walk on the paths of those who will be thrown away, those who will be set aside. Let us be in the path of those who will be kept for a special duty. Let's be in the path of those that would make heaven, those part, the path of those that would be with the Lord, that it would deem fit to be with Him in His kingdom. On no cost, our account must we miss heaven. It is important. Very, very important he said so also the angel will come on the last day they will separate the wicked people from the righteous the wicked people from the righteous are you among the righteous is another that thing we need to look into now 52 said every teacher of religion of religious law who becomes a disciple in the kingdom of heaven is like a homeowner is the, is like a owner of house who brings from his storeroom new gems of truth as well as hold now this is to say that the moment you you become a Christian, you're like a homeowner who brings from his storeroom new gems of truth. You bring out fresh word from you. We burst out fresh word, fresh desire. The rhema that will be coming out from you on a daily basis will be a a powerful one when men and women come to seek advice from you your advice that you will be giving them will be fresh one fresh one you'll be giving them the heart of the lord how god wants it to be is what you'll be giving to them you're like an homeowner you bring out from your storeroom, don't forget the scripture says, from the abundance of the arts, the mouth speaketh. Because you've, 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 from, from the abundance of the heart, you feed the heart with God's word. So God's word now resides in your heart. So when you are giving, when you're speaking, you're speaking fresh utterances from God's word from the very mouth of God you are giving fresh utterances fresh ideas fresh advice and innovations that will bless the lives of those listening to you as at that particular point in time something fresh this is why as a minister of God what you give from the altar on a daily basis ought to be fresh I was telling some persons and I said, 
as a minister of God, you are like a generator repairer. When you use generator for some time, you take it to the repair for what? For service. For service. And funny enough, it is called Sunday service. Weekly service. Your spiritual man is being taken to church on weekly base and on Sunday for servicing. But many of us will go to church on Sunday only or even on Wednesday or even weekly and we not get we don't get serviced by our priests, by men of God. They are to search the scripture and bring that like homeowner who brings from their storeroom, from the abundance they have taken in, they bring from it fresh, fresh truth. They bring out new gems. But you see, many have not customized themselves for something else, for something else. And they don't bring out fresh and new gems from their storms anymore. They don't service men. Men ought to be serviced. Men ought to be serviced. And don't forget, this is generation whereby we don't. We, you, you, you as an individual need to know God for yourself. This is a generation whereby we should seek God personally personally and from 53 downward Jesus Christ and his disciples they they went into Nazareth and when they got there which was his own town when they got there they teached in the synagogue he, while he was teaching the people were like ah is this not uh, Joseph's son? Is this not this? Is this not that? We knew, we know this person. We know this person. We know, we know Jesus, the son of Nazareth, the the Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. We know him. We know him. They said. But you see, because of these, they were angered. They they didn't. They didn't listen to him. They feel they know all about him, so he should not speak to them. And Jesus Christ told them, I will stop with this. He said, A prophet is honored everywhere, everywhere, except in his hometown and among his own family. Honestly, I will beg us, let it never get to a time whereby we get too familiar with God. Irrespective of whosoever is using to bring the word to you, don't get too familiar. Don't be too familiar with God's word. To the level whereby you feel this person is not good enough to bring me a message. Is it not this person we know? This person who was once a sinner, this person who is this, and this person who is that. You've forgotten the fact that one minute he or she may be a sinner, and the next minute he, he can now be a new creature. A new creation. You forget that part, right? Let's drop, drop this attitude of being judgmental. A man of God is preaching and you are busy saying, ah, this man was a man they said did this or did that. If he's preaching the truth, if he's preaching the gospel, the Bible believing gospel, put your ear, learn, listen to what God is using him to say part time. Get the word and be blessed. Walk with it. It's God's word. It can come through a child. It can come through a madman. It can come through a poster. It can come through a sticker. It can come through drama. It can come through a music ministration. 